Hi, so time to come back to our channel. I'm Taylor Ann. And I'm Lori Ann. And, and together, together we, we are Mad Curls. <laughs> and welcome to part two of our coconut free products yes. series. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're yeah. delving a little deeper today in the videos. Um, kind of like, I guess, a series because it's more than one. <laughs> uh, videos that we felt were needed um, in the community and needed especially on our channel because we noticed that a lot of our followers um, would kind of like balk at the idea of, like, I mean, you guys love watching us, but whenever we would introduce new brands, new products that contained, maybe like they would have a new line, like this, like they'd have, we'd have a brand and then they would create a new line and then they might have, and like coconut and something else. And then you guys would watch us, but then you would say in the comments, but unfortunately we won't be trying those because that's coconut and my hair doesn't do well with coconut. And so at first when I saw that, I was very intrigued by it because my hair does fabulous um, with coconut because coconut is a protein and my hair loves protein, but not everybody likes um, coconut in their products. Mm -hmm. So we were seeing sometimes in the comments that people would not try the products. And so I want to delve a little bit deeper. You were the one that came up with the idea because we searched high and low and there simply just was not videos unless we're just not looking in the right spots. But we did look on... Um, the in, on google and there just isn't a list there are a list for protein free products there are a list for uh, glycerin free products but there simply is not a list that at least that we know of yet that give you um a compilation of products that are coconut free mm -hmm. and we felt it was very needed for this community and so we decided to make a list ourselves. Yeah. So we have, certainly we have enough products to go through this. We have tons of brands. So we decided today to methodically go through all of the brands, all of the products, turn them over, look at the ingredients, and um, see which brands had obvious coconut. And the obvious word for coconut that we were looking for was? Cocos Nuferis. Uh, yeah, Cocos Nuciferus. Cocos Nuciferus? Okay, I think it Sorry, was. Sorry, we, we were just listening to it. It was Coco Nuciferus. Yeah. Cocos Nuciferus, yeah. yeah. So the products that we've picked out for these videos do not have the word Cocos Nuciferus in it or coconut oil in them. Which would be the obvious ingredient yeah. coconut um, that oil. stands heads and tails. Mm -hmm. and that's like what, what they're promoting the product for, for argument's sake, not to pick on any brand. But for instance, just to give you guys a rundown of what we were looking for, like the brands, a cream of nature that made the, um, the coconut milk line last year. It clearly was made about coconut. Yeah. They were promoting it for the coconut, okay? Those were like the obvious ones. Mm -hmm. But then there also are brands that, it's not promoting coconut, but a uh, coconut at all, but coconut oil is an ingredient mm -hmm. on the list. So those ones were like the easy ones to just like pass by. Like I know that's gonna have coconut in it. Yeah. It was like the rest of the products that might just like, you know, a few lines down have like coconut oil there listed. Yes. Or like, are you talking about the derivative of coconut? Or are no, you talking about I'm just... talking about like the word. So some, exactly. sometimes like the product doesn't have to say, you know, made with avocado oil and coconut or like right. the a cream of nature coconut milk line. We know that's going to have coconut in exactly. it. Sometimes it's just a product that will just have coconut oil in it. Yes. So. And so, so that was one layer of this project today. We also discovered that there are products that have the derivative, as we found out, of coconut oil. Now, when we started this project a few weeks ago, we did kind of like put out a poll or we asked you guys on Friday Night Live, would you mind if we had the derivative? And you guys all said, no, you didn't mind the derivative. Mm -hmm. And and I could see why, because we've all grown up with a derivative of coconut and haven't been affected. You know, in our teenage years, even in our beginning of our journey, I think 10 years when I went natural, I don't think there was really a brand that pushed it in that way all the brands pretty much had like maybe the derivative of coconut oil in their products, but it wasn't highlighted. And then perhaps about four or five years ago, give or take a year, um, this whole idea of coconut and all the benefits. And so we all went like wild grabbing things with coconut. I was slathering it on my face. I was slathering it in my hair. We were doing coconut masks. Uh, people were even taking teaspoonfuls of coconut. I mean, all of the benefits of coconut were good if it works for you. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, fast forward in a year or two, people were noticing that coconut wasn't all that it was like cracked up to be. And I don't know if it was as vocal as it's becoming now that no, like, like, staying away because it was like the it thing and nobody really wanted to say I don't want coconut but now it's more vocal people do not want coconut in their products and so today we methodically went through our products to see exactly which ones had obvious coconut cocoa nuciferous in it and then there is the derivative so the derivative were words that we would look for like acetyl alcohol okay that is you said a moisturizing 
um, product. Or... Yeah, no, it's a, um, it makes the hair soft and it's like, it's, it helps the product have slip. So acetyl alcohol is in a lot of these products. That's why we asked, is it okay for the derivative? I'm like, cause this will make this kind of a lot easier. Cause right. most of these products, most products have a, like acetyl alcohol in it. Mm -hmm. And that's just, you know, makes your hair soft and adds slip. It's an emollient. So that one's obvious. There's yeah. another one that's very similar to it. If not the same one, maybe just use spelled differently. And that's the cetyl alcohol, mm -hmm. same kind of concept. So those are the ones that we believe, and you may agree, that are not as harmful. Yeah. And to prove my point, I went and got my Johnson's um, baby shampoo that I used to clean my makeup brushes to look to see. And sure enough, almost like the first ingredient on there was acetyl alcohol. And I was like, wow. So acetyl alcohol is not like a bad thing. It's it's kind of like used, it has a purpose mm -hmm. to it. Whereas other, where the cocos nuciferis is just not necessary for some people. It just does not do well with their hair. Yeah. Now, so when we were doing this part, the, the cleansers and the mask, there was like a new element of it, a new ingredient that we kept seeing, which um, I was yeah. like, okay, it has the word cocoa in it. So like, what is this? Because it was in all the shampoos. And I was like, what is this? So the word was... It was cocoa middle, uh, let me see, perobetane. Coco Middle Peripotane, it was called. No, um, I don't think that was it. Okay. Hold on. We have to get the man again. What did he say? Coco Coco Medopril Betaine. Coco Medopril Betaine. Yeah. Okay. And that is found in... Yeah, so that's a cleansers. derivative of coconut oil. Mm -hmm. And it's found... Um, we're finding it in, in all the shampoos. Okay. And that is a cleansing agent. And again, it's derived from coconut oil. Mm -hmm. And it's a thick... It has thickening... It, thickening and foaming properties so okay. obviously like you know shampoo so i was like okay so it is derived from coconut oil but it was in most shampoos and it's like a thickening agent pretty much the foaming part of shampoos every single product that we have on the table uh other than maybe the curl mix curl mix brand has some sort of a derivative of this coconut that in there doesn't count for this for these ones oh it does yeah so it counted for the stylers but not okay. the shampoos and conditioners okay yeah Oops, I misspoke. Okay, so. So this video is the shampoo, conditioners, co-washes, and masks that don't have the obvious coconut in it, although they might have derivatives of coconut oil. Okay, which we don't believe um, that you guys believe that they're as harmful. You just want to kind of like stay away from the obvious labeling of a brand coming out with a brand new product and will have the word coconut in the title that you're like, okay, I'm not going to try that because coconut does not do well with our hair. Yeah. Now, can you explain a little bit why it doesn't do well with certain types of hair? What, um, what does, what kind of, what types of hair does it do well with we discovered? So we discovered that it does well with fine to medium hair. Mm -hmm. Um, like you probably could find like no curly hair, medium hair. And it doesn't do well, like they see the benefits and it doesn't do well with hair that is very fine. Mm -hmm. Like it weighs it down, makes it greasy, causes buildup. Right. And then it also doesn't do well with dry um, or coarse hair. Mm -hmm. For that, it makes the hair brittle. Like it does like the opposite of what it's supposed to do. It makes the hair brittle and prone to breakage. Mm -hmm. And so... But it does do well with high porosity hair because um, it, it, it absorbs it. And um, it does do well with that kind of hair. That's probably why I, because um, my hair is high porosity and what is like um, medium texture. I'm like, med I'm like medium low porosity. Okay. So you kind of like sits on your hair. They say that the molecular, here we go, trying to be scientific, <laughs> but I'm not going to go too far on, on, you know, on these layers because it's a little complicated and we don't want to really do that. We really kind of want to present the products that will be useful to you. But they say that coconut oil is a light oil and it penetrates very easily. But even with low porosity hair, it does not penetrate so therefore it starts causing buildup and that's why the hair gets dry brittle because moisture is not able to get in and so where people think that their hair is dry when it first came out and it was supposed to be the the um the latest thing to the hair community everybody was running for it and when our hair was dry we were just like slathering that on but certain types do not take to that so what it was doing it was blocking the moisture from coming in and it was causing hair breakage our the hair was rough it was um shedding and so it was very problematic and so i think that um, we all kind of like discovered what is going on here and so a lot of people have shied away from coconut oil and that is probably why one of the reasons why and so tonight we are and it's tonight, and as I say tonight, um, we have compiled a list of products that will be useful to you because we look and there aren't, I mean, there's protein-free products out there. There's lists of that. There are lists of um, glycerin-free products, but we look high and low. Unless we are wrong, 
um, or we're not looking in the right place, we have yet to find a list that is coconut free, that has a compilation of products that people can go to if they just want to avoid the ingredient coconut. So here we are, Mad Curls, with this list of shampoos, mm -hmm. conditioners, co-washes, and masks. And if you have, this is part two, and if you have not seen our first video, did you link it down? Are you going to link I it down? I can link it down. Okay, link it down, because the first one is a compilation of... The stylers. The stylers. Like leave-ins, styling creams, mm -hmm. and gels. I think it's a pretty good all-inclusive list very much a representation of all the brands mm -hmm. and so we're going to get started all right so if you want to see our list of coconut free um shampoos conditioners co-washes masks mm -hmm. then please keep watching please keep watching okay so we're going to start our list um i encourage everyone to grab a pad and a pen to write down what we're going to say we're going to do something that is very uncustomary to us and we're going to try to slow down our speech so that you can catch what we say and we try to be as clear as possible so that you can write down the list but um, these are two videos back to back with an awful huge representation of products that are coconut free so to list them in the description box is just very time consuming and so um, we just figured that Everybody has the ability to pause their videos and get the word back, track, rewind, or whatever, and get that um, to list them in the description box. is just a lot of extra work that um, we just weren't up for the task. To do that. <laughs> okay, this is task enough, so that's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. And um, and so, so yeah, grab a pad and a pen and let's get started. Okay. In no particular order, these will be um, representations by each brand yeah. of their cleansers, whether they be shampoos or um, co washes mm. and conditioners and deep conditioners. Okay, which brand shall we start with? Um, let's start with Curl Mix just okay. because we just did the video on it. Okay. And so um, Curl Mix has a pure aloe vera shampoo and a pure grapeseed conditioner. Neither one of these have um, coconut oil in them, but they do have some uh, derivatives of coconut oil, but they're just a really great shampoo and conditioner. This The shampoo is really cl um, clarifying, mm -hmm. and the, sh the conditioner had a lot of slip in it. So okay. we like these. These are, these ones are mine. The uh, the watermelon fragrance, but they yes. do have different fragrances okay. on their website. And so, so all of their fragrances... Um, Since they don't have like okay. coconut oil. Like, yeah, I don't, none of the... The products, I don't believe on Chromex, like Chromex has coconut oil. I know. As far as like um, the Coco Nufair, it's like actual coconut oil in them. Yeah. So maybe that's why it does so well on our channel because um, you guys are just loving Chromex and we are just loving Chromex too. So, um, so and maybe good. that's why because a lot of I know our subscribers just don't care for coconut. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So the next line that we are going to present to you shall be Allocate Naturals. And we have two representations and their deep conditioners. It, we have the honey and sage deep conditioner, and we also have the avocado cream moisture repairing mask. There's videos on these on our channel, and these both do not. I know I love that one. It's avocado, show it. and like it's it's, it's just so much fun to use. It's, it's green. green. I just like mm. unique things like that. Yeah. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. Can't, it seems like you can't take it seriously, but you take it dead seriously. It works so good. Our hair shined so much after we did that. Mm -hmm. We put it in, we set under um, a dryer. dryer. Yeah. yeah, and then when you rinse it out. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. So okay. good. Very good. All right, so very good. So those are two from Alake. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, they have, they have cleansers in their line, but... The cleansers couldn't be here this evening. <laughs> yes, so the, clean, so the um, avocado, does that have protein in it? Or no. They both, they both don't, okay. Like, no protein yeah i was just curious to see if either one of those or they're just healthy ingredients and i don't think this had protein in it okay yeah okay so it's just a deep conditioner that um, yeah does the job okay no because we just got fabulous results from it and um and we're still raving about them okay yeah so the next brand that we're going to wheel out here now is going to be niche we just did a video on that so it's new in our mind and the deep conditioners were absolutely fabulous. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think I'm bringing them back to back with um, Allocate Naturals because it's like really have been the best finds that we found um, going into the new year and definitely at the end of last year. And we did a video the other day and I did the deep conditioner with protein in it and mm -hmm. I loved it. My hair, oh my God, just like yeah. I always say it boings when it gets protein and it absolutely did. Yeah. So when I spoke about Allocate Naturals, I wanted, that's why I asked it to have um, protein in it because this to me is really a very great protein conditioner. Protein is very tricky and sometimes it can be too harsh and sometimes it's just not enough, but this was, it did exactly 
what um, protein does for my hair almost instantaneously. So mm -hmm. I am really raving about this new conditioner. And I did the moisturizing deep conditioner. This one's called Indulge. Mm -hmm. And this is just amazing. If you go see that video, like all in the comments, people were like, like they didn't even recognize my hair because my curls were just so like spiral. They had no product in it. Yeah. But after I put this in, rinsed it out, you know, my highlights were healthy. This is so good. Yeah. This is so, so good. We were very happy with this. And then also there is the cleanse, moisturizing and cleansing sulfate free shampoo. Yeah, this so. one I... I didn't know whether I was going to put this one in because there's a lot of the word cocoa in these ingredients. They're all derivatives, but it just seemed like a lot of cocoa. So okay. you guys go check out these ingredients for yourself. They're all deri derivatives. It doesn't have actual like the word coconut oil in it or coconut anything. But, you know, um, I don't know. You guys check this out. But I think this is okay. Okay. This is okay. But yeah, this okay. is the sulfate free shampoo, which is amazing as well. All right. This was fun. So very good. So now next we have Camille Rose. We have the Camille Rose, which is very popular to some of you guys. This is the Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse, and this is free of coconut. And what people normally pair it with, we could not put that on the table because it does have coconut in it, which is that pear conditioner. So that couldn't make the party tonight, but um, this could. This Camille Rose, this is from one of their newest lines, the... Um, what is it? Nangai and Subaki Strength Restores. This is the protein one. They made three conditioners in the line along with three oils. This is the only thing that we got. We got this from New York Fashion Week. Mm. And this does not have coconut in it. So I think you said Soylicious, which is not on the table, is another one. But you felt for some reason like you couldn't yes. couldn't pair. Oh, there is Soylicious. Very good. Okay, Soylicious is another one. Though it's not customarily paired with the ginger rinse. Tonight, this is a conditioner from Camille Rose because we're trying to do it by brand um, and by category. This is another deep conditioner that um, could pair very well with this. Though it's not normally known to pair with this, um, it is a deep conditioner or conditioner. And, and this is their deep conditioner. So these are three products from Camille Rose without Cocos Nuciferis in it. This smell has grown on me. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> You okay, go. so there we go. That's um, Camille Rose. Who else do we have here? We have Nature's Little Secret. They have okay. a few cleansers. So they have a kid line. Um, they have a cleanser in that line, which is like a kitty line, but I like to use it. Um, it's their vanilla bean shampoo and their chocolate conditioner. And these are great. And um, coconut free. <laughs> <laughs> because we struggle a little bit with the conditioners and the cleansers. They smell so good. So, um, and so that's why we had to kind of like put that disclaimer that... Um, as we delved deeper, that there are derivatives of coconut. And we did ask you guys, did you mind the derivatives? And you said, no, I think you don't want to see the obvious word coconut and and the labeling and in, in, in the promotion of the product. So these are products that are not pushing coconut, but yet they might have the derivative. And um, did I say it in this video yet? I'm not sure. But I said to show how it's not that important I went and, and dug up my um, Johnson's baby shampoo, which yeah. I used to clean my brushes. And that, the first ingredient is a derivative of, um, aside from aqua, it's always water, first ingredient. There's a derivative of coconut. And so I said, we all grew up with that. We all, you know, bathed our babies with that. We always, you know, did our babies hair with that. So obviously the derivative of coconut cannot be that harmful because um, we all grew up and we didn't know any better. Mm -hmm. So um, we think the derivative's okay, just not the obvious word coconusivirus or just coconut in the line, so. Yeah. All right. So the adult shampoo in the Nature's Little Secret line is the Rose Hydrating Shampoo. We haven't tried this yet. Um, and then there's also a Rose Hydrating con Hydrating Conditioner. So these two go together. Is it a regular conditioner or deep conditioner? It's a regular conditioner. Oh, okay, interesting. In the jar that's high, so yeah. okay. Yeah, right. let me see. Um, oh, well, you can leave. Actually, you could do it either way. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. So put it so in. So the other out. one that we used um, a few weeks ago, that was um, adult one or from the kitty line? The um, Nature's Little Secret. That, was, that wasn't that was from the kids line. That was just another one that they have. Okay, but that one was like yeah. coconut and goat milk. Yeah, so I, I love, love that one the, there. I love the way that smells. Okay, so another brand that we have here on the table represented is Carol's Daughter. This is the Clay Rasool line. This is the Clay Rasool shampoo, the sulfate-free shampoo, and the Clay Rasool enriching conditioner. And these both made the list with no coconut in it. And the mask, which I have raved about from time to time. So these three are a safe choice if you are trying to escape the ingredient of coconut. Okay, that's Carol's Daughter representation. Then we have... 
Curl. We have Jesse Curl. That's yours. Yeah. Mine. So Jesse Curl, they have a hair cleansing cream and the Touche moisturizing conditioner. These two together um, are great. Great cleansers, coconut free, obviously because they're here. <laughs> right. And then my favorite is the Jesse Curl Deep Conditioning Treatment, and um, this saved me from protein overload. It brought my hair right back. Okay. So I rave about this deep conditioner. This deep conditioner is great. So I was glad that it didn't have coconut in it. Um, so I could show it here. Wheel it out again for this Wheel video. Out. Okay. <laughs> All right, so another brand that Hopefully we're not talking too fast. I felt like I just flew through that. Oh, you Hopefully did you caught it. <laughs> you did great. Jesse Curl. Hey, people say it takes them probably about a couple of months to get used to our speed talking. But after a while, it just seems like norm to them. Okay, so then the next one is one of my favorite lines. Um, actually, both of my lines are lined up here. But anyway, no particular order. Curl Junkie we have right here. We have the Daily Fix, which is a daily co-wash. And this made the list. We also have one of my favorite deep conditioners. And this is Repair Me. The, this was my deep conditioner. This was like my holy grail before I, I found Sotanicals. And then we have my real holy grail, which was Curl Rehab. And all of these are coconut free. So um, th these are options from the Curl Junkie line. Moving right along to my favorite line as of late. Of course, Sotanicals. So starting with their Shea Yurvedic Butter Shampoo that made the list, and then they have tons of deep conditioners. And I was just like, like fast. I was like, wow. Okay. So then we have the Sotanicals Manoy Moisture Slip Deep Conditioning Fertilizing Dip. That's another one. Let me go. There is the Fro Despair Vitamin Hair Repair. Mm-hmm. For great things about, it, I've seen lots of reviews on their channel. So I have not used that yet, and I definitely intend to use that. Definitely. Okay. Then Oh, it's green. Yeah, and that cool and it has like broccoli and things in it. I just thought it was very interesting. That's very cool. Okay. And then of course all of our favorites that love Sotanicals, Afrotastic. Okay, that made the list. And I'm almost out and I'm waiting for my order to come in the mail. And it was supposed to come today, but for some reason it did not. So I feel like maybe there's something else out there that wants to try to meet up with it because I was like, oh wow, it didn't show up today, even though I got the notification that I was gonna show up today. But anyway. TikTok, we just wait. And then that is my favorite. The Hibiscus Hair mm -hmm. Healer Healthy Scalp Therapy Mask. Yes. Why do I say everything is my favorite? I don't know. Just the whole thing. Because we have tons of favorites. Thing. We do. Oh, this I just one's love red. It. I love that. It's like the carrot oil or something. And so that just to me, it just that blows me away. I love that. That's cool. The, the whole red. I like cute things. Okay. So then we next we have an old school. We have mixed chicks made the the, uh, the list. There's sulfate free shampoo that's on the list here with a busted cap. Okay. Busted cap. And, and their then, deep conditioner. Yeah. That is an OG Mixed conditioner. Deep conditioner. I love that. I used it when I did my do it yourself toner where I used to put the blue uh, food coloring in it and then put it in my hair and tone my highlights when they started getting brassy. And I liked it because it was just like snow white and it didn't have like a yellowish tinge or a beige tinge, which to me would throw off the food coloring. Probably not. But anyway, I would love that and I would use that to mix in my do-it-yourself toner. But um, that is just a fantastic conditioner and I've had that uh, for years and years and years um, as part of my arsenal from time to time um, on this journey. That is a, a really great conditioner. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's mixed chicks. All right, moving on okay. to, we have Cantu TXTR here on the table. Okay. So their shampoo and conditioner, this actually is a cleansing oil shampoo, and their hydrating, leave-in up and rinse out hydrating conditioner are both coconut free. And in our styling video, we had some other stylers too. So you might think from like this video to our other video, like you could have like a full wash day because right. some of the stylers in certain lines um, were coconut free as well. Okay. So. And then my absolute favorite from the Cantu TXTR line is the moisture mask. Yeah. Love this mask. It's amazing. I'm like gone, gone through it. Yeah. That's a really good mask. Love this mask. Super okay. moisturizing. It's awesome. Okay. Speaking of masks, I see over there your Aussie represented. Yeah. So this was the the original Aussie, the Aussie three um, Aussie three minute miracle moist does not have any coconut in it at all. Their new line, the Curl Miracle, has a is made with jojoba and coconut oil. So that whole okay. line, the co wash, all of that, all has coconut in it. But just the original three minute miracle moist does not have um, coconut oil in it. So. It's over here. It's funny how um, when companies want to delve into 
<laughs> yeah, I felt like a like a, like a hair there. It's funny how companies want to delve into the natural hair world and they feel that curl hair always needs coconut, but we're finding that sometimes coconut will block moisture and, and curly hair needs moisture or textured hair needs moisture more than anything. So it's not necessarily an ingredient that's always necessary. It yeah. sometimes can do the opposite effect and cause damage. Mm -hmm. So, um, But you guys know I love Aussie, mm -hmm. but I have not been using it. I would say maybe for a good month or two now um, during my wash days, just because of the silicones in it, uh, this winter has been like super rough on our hair and some people okay. were saying it, it could be because of this like the products you're using with silicone and the first thing that came to my mind was Aussie because it has not been acting the same okay. when I take a shower my hair is just dry and it was never like that with Aussie so I was like it could be because of the silicones in here so I have put Aussie on the shelf for now you until, guys are teaching us what until i can is. use it again ingredients but are important yeah do you want to talk about this okay so then what, what i brought out here was the l'oreal l5 um it's, yeah it's l5 color vibrancy repair protect balm so this made the list this is what we use for our highlights to keep our highlights popping and keeping them toned and it really does work now i did find i do like the garnier one a lot better you guys said it had more natural ingredients and to give that one a try we like that one we would love that one and i absolutely agree i do love that one but unfortunately was not able to make the table because mm -hmm. it had coconut in it right mm -hmm. but i absolutely do love that one and since i don't personally have a problem with coconut i reach for that one but this one was the one that i used constantly up until probably about a few months ago when you guys said try the garnier and i did and i do love it and um, to me it works better than this but anyway this did make the list um, if you're looking for something that's coconut free and giving your, if you have highlights, um, the more popping tin effect, this works brilliantly. Yeah. Okay. Then we have Weedad here has made its parent. So we have the Weedad Curl Quencher line. We have a shampoo from this line. In the other video, we talked about the conditioner. Though it is a rinse out, I use it as a leave in. So that made the leave in list. And we also have um, from the Vita Curl Plus line. Their shampoo and conditioner, which I am not really a fan of Weed Ad shampoos and conditioners, but um, until this Vita Curl Plus line, I really like the shampoo and conditioner. So these are the only Weed Ad shampoos and conditioners I like, and they don't have coconut in them. So okay. these are good. All right. And then one of their latest um additions creations. <laughs> additions creations to their line was the ultra nourishing intense hydrating mask and so this has made the list this is coconut free mm -hmm. so that's, that's like, like a two minute mask two just minute mask put it in right now i like out. weed add conditioners because in their deep conditioners especially like um it didn't make the list because it does have coconut in it but from the curl immersion line that um that big jar the big purple jar i love that two minutes and you're done and so i like conditioners that can really just get in there do what it has to do and you can rinse it out mm. love that so yeah but unfortunately that one didn't make the list but this one did so yeah. give this a try if you're looking for something like that so this is a new line from curls the curls the green collection their curl cleanser, which is like, um, it's, it's like a clarifier, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't it a clarifier? It like really cleans your hair. Yes. The clarifier and the, the sea kelp curl cleanser and the sea kelp and cucumber hair mask. Yes. Both of these in the line don't have coconut oil in it. So the mask and the cleanser. But there's like and a so, whole collection. It's almost like a, like a collection. treatment yeah. collection. And yeah, I probably really should give that a whirl. I haven't done that since we did the video. Yeah, these and were it good. really uh, did wonders on our hair when we did it like, boom 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 all like the different steps yeah and that really was a deal on black friday i guess sometimes black friday has super deals but what? all five products for were 25 dollars, and now one, one product, product is, is like, like 19. 19. yeah <laughs> we were shocked when we went to Walmart like, and saw that. No, it was Target. Uh, excuse me, Target. Yeah, I was like, yeah. whoa. Like, so, like, um, if you're interested in this line, wait for another deal, cause yeah, girl, yeah, that's pretty pricey. Um, probably worth it because it did like do instant um results, instant improvement on our hair. But um, yeah, they're pretty pricey. Yeah. So um, pricey. But yeah. There we go. Right Curls here. The green so those two. Okay. Then I'm looking at the main choice there. Yeah, this so we don't from their, their Heavenly Halo line. We don't really have main choice cleansers. These were the only ones we have and we got these at mm -hmm. New York Fashion Week. And did we did you try it? Someone tried um, it. I, I know I tried, tried it. it. No, I have not tried them yet. Oh, okay. 
So I tried them and um, I can't remember my experience. I must have liked them because they weren't in the bin or the box. So they were on the shelf. So they must okay. be good. Maybe they're on the shelf strictly because of the name. Certain names we just cannot part with to put them because they're just like too like high end in our opinion. You know, it's not like a can too. We can just throw over the box. Like it's main choice. Like, who throws main choice over the box like it's junk? <laughs> you know, so there's like levels to um, our thinking here. So main choice, whether it works or not, it stays up because it's beautiful to look at anyway. It their is. Packaging their packaging is, always. is yeah. Like that new one. I want that, that prickly prickly pear is it what is that prickly, prickly pear no there's a yeah. prickly pear and there's the exotic kool-aid yeah the exact kool-aid you're you're obsessed with and there's like different level yeah. there's we different keep, products from that line yeah like three we keep getting messages ones. like are you when are you guys going to review it like when are we going to review y'all we don't even have it yet like, yeah yeah we're trying to decide what to get yeah. all our main choice products we have bought we are not on any pr list like mm -hmm. we don't have any main choice and connects. they were always like, going to be bought the other day i was interested and in, intrigued by the foaming conditioner the cleanser because first you do the mask on dry hair so like right now tonight i could have done it on dry hair just like this and then sleep on it and then the next morning rinse it out with this foaming shampoo but um when i put that in the card and put something else in the card and i had a target card from christmas but i just didn't want to spend that on products because yeah. there's just so many more videos that we have to do here products that are waiting on the shelf and i just said i'm not going to spend like 50 or 60 dollars uh when i can put some food in the house right. so um i just did not do that but um Decision. it very much intrigued me so um so the heavenly halo shampoo and conditioner mm -hmm. main choice no coconut is that all we have for the main choice in this that category? Is, that's it we don't have any main choice masks or anything else in the house okay so here facing me right now is miss jane carter we have the nutrient replenishing conditioner and the hydrating invigorating shampoo sls free so um these two have made the list again um i want to point out that these were back og back uh, 10 years ago these were out in existence the yellow line the sunflower line when i first went natural and so i found that products that were made back then they did not highlight coconut they might have had the derivative of coconut perhaps in them but not the way we do now like you know coconut and or the whole line is coconut milk or whatever it's just not like that so that's why it was easier to find products and brands back when because they simply didn't do that and it wasn't until about four or five years ago that everyone just started jumping on the bandwagon with this everybody was making coconut, coconut and something everything. yeah yeah so um this is a safe bet right here shampoo and conditioner yeah then we have the pantene gold series mm -hmm. right here so okay their co-wash coconut free mm -hmm. i like their co-wash it took me a while to like it the first couple times i tried it i was kind of like eh but now i'm like going through it like i think this is a great co-wash and so the next thing we have here is the pantene gold series um the repairing mask yeah so the mask and then the shampoo and the conditioner which are awesome too mm -hmm. yeah the shampoo and conditioner and the liner are great this conditioner has so much slip it reminds me of like aussie that's why i love it like so yeah. much slip love and it did we compare the ingredients one time i found out that they really are almost like the same company the same umbrella they almost smell the same yeah i think this and the aussie were like the same or some, yeah. something else it's so panty and something curious. else there were like some similar like because identical ingredients they say when you make products it's just easier to get formulas that are already made and slap your label on it so like one day we can get something slap macros on it and it could be the formula that pantene might have spent years making but we just slap our label on it so i mean they smell so much alike it's scary and i said what is that about but no they if you look ingredient for ingredient they are the exact same product yeah so um that was interesting and All so right. i believe the last line we have here i think this is it yeah is the not sure not your not your not my <laughs> not your mother's but when, we're, when we did the first video you kept saying not your daughter's yeah. not my mother's not your mother's the the curl talk shampoo and the three-in-one conditioner oh let's say i hope the three-in-one um, yeah so yeah. you can either do shampoo conditioner or you can do co-wash with this remember we were so afraid we weren't gonna have enough product and we wanted to do three-in-one we were just so afraid we were gonna have enough yeah to do the shampoo and the conditioner and then and then the leave-in we're just like just so greedy. greedy but um here we are months later and the product is still full it's still kicking yeah still kicking i love this yeah. this was great i discovered this and i was like oh another co-wash that i like so yeah. this was great and then it was hard to get it was an ulta it was like hard to get on the shelf now every time i go on ulta i see it there yeah because like the hype has come has gone down okay but um yeah so the shampoo conditioner and then the, the three and one it's just I, I like when we do these videos because it just reminds me it brings me down memory lane of all the good lines that we did all the brands that are out there all the things that are parked on our shelves and that we need to reach back for I know. so um 
And we don't reach too much because I like this one. Okay. <laughs> Not too much reaching with, with this one. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm trying to see. I think I'm going to do that curls again. The curls? Yeah. I need yeah, to it could like be little, time for a little... Yeah, a little treatment or little something. treatment, girl. Mm -hmm. A little treatment. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, So this, these are all the cleansers, the shampoos, conditioners, the co-washes, and the masks that we have that don't directly say Cocos Nuf Co Cocos Nuf 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 Very good. Girl. <laughs> in them um although they might have some derivatives definitely add to this list down below um let us know other products that you know of that don't have that in there or let us know if we made any mistakes we've made mistakes before we'll make them again give us feedback let us know <laughs> if you like these kind of talk through videos these kind of dropping a little bit of knowledge for you guys and please have an open conversation whether or not we come in even though we do we kind of like um buzz around and see what's going on um but it's you know it's a community it's mad Curls fam and though we may not know the answer somebody definitely does there's mm -hmm. always somebody that has a a professor like mine a scientific mind that knows the makeup of these ingredients so please start the conversation down below add to the list take away if we made a mistake and we thank you for watching and if you want to know our change of style because we went from one video to another we want to shake it up a little bit you changed your whole outfit i did because um I was carrying a, a mask. Um, love, love, love has nothing to do with the mask because no, it wasn't a mask. It was the uh, the scrub. Love. So I love Alake Naturals, um, their hairline. And so then I started going into because you know I love skincare. And so I started testing their skincare, and I absolutely love their uh, their facial scrub. It's exfoliating scrub, and then they have a mask. The mask a little bit really like sinks, sinks into my face, and I'm telling you, I'm like doing one of these numbers at the end because it's so itchy. It's like really absorbed but i'm fabulous result but anyway so i was juggling it and carrying it back into my room and the last shirt got a great big grease stain and i tried to blow dry it and it was not drying because it was grease and so now i've got to work was on it that grease, grease. Or was it, oil? it was it was oil it was oil <laughs> yeah the oil smells really good it's very interesting and that scrub works so good so that's what happened so i had to change my shirt and so then we decided to put on our little lock so this is from the company sock lock sock dot com and um s o c l o c s o c yes socklocksock.com it's just a very kind of like convenient look when your hair is looking busted mine wasn't necessarily this was just kind of like a little look tonight because i want to be different and it comes in a gazillion colors and they're pretty much always in stock except the one color i wanted recently it was oh my goodness um i don't know it's kind of like a, a butternut kind of like an orangey kind of you know my typical kind of neutral makeup look so i haven't been able to get that one but um they come in different sizes i think this is the 16 inch one as far as length goes then there's like a 24 inch and um, like for extra long make maybe people like have dreadlocks or something so um it's just a great company i've been doing this company um i would say at least for the last eight or nine years absolutely love them not sponsored that i know of i don't know i mean I think I tried something maybe about a year or two ago. Back at my first go round with um Yeah, did they send you extra? They something? did. They did. It, it was like a little delay in the shipping and um they apologized and then sent me like duplicates of what I ordered and um so um okay. I don't know if they're on Instagram, so um, I will will put this out and I'll try to tag them. I don't know if they are, but I know a lot of you guys have seen me wear these on occasion and have gotten them yourselves mm -hmm. so they're just a convenient kind of a different look so it's kind of cute <coughs> now, what and are you sporting there i am sporting asodara i'll probably put the name here um and they make african wraps so this is one of their headbands and they always have like matching um little choker necklaces things but they have wraps they have headbands they have scrunchies and i just love them they're black owned and um but I'd rock one of these tonight. It's been a while. Yeah, but yeah. They're cute. I love black it's all it's all African prints, and so they're okay. really beautiful prints. They have some new prints. I have to pick up some of their new stuff, but their prints are really pretty. Okay. All right. So I think that is it. That is the end of this video. It's three o'clock in the morning. If you guys want to know. Yeah. I think it might be actually even later than that. <laughs> um. So. so then what we do is just for fun, so you guys just get in in a little bit of our mad curls like inner circle, inner world. What we do is so then when we get off of this video, we'll look at the clock, and if it says like say for instance like 318 i'll say okay we have to be in the bed by 349 and if we're not like we just like drop where we are we just like go to the bed. Go to bed so um so we will give ourselves a certain amount of time we're just moving back and forth excuse me pardon me excuse me like we're moving into a building or something and then we get it all done we have to take off our makeup now put all this stuff away <coughs> and um mouth is dry right and that is mad curls behind the scenes and so yeah so let us know if you like this type of a format what we've done here 
and let um, us know other types of videos we can do to wheel these products out again <laughs> in a different category all right yes okay so thank you guys so much for watching okay. and we shall see you in our next video see you in our next video okay bye, bye.